I never really thought that I would be in education again after my A-levels because I was going through a lot when I was doing them so um, I kind of failed most of them. So I decided to travel to Nepal and then Sumatra where I lived in the rainforest for like seven months. I learned so much and that was kind of when I first got into sustainability because big companies would come in to grow palm oil. Nothing can live there so I remember being in the rainforest and then you would walk into the palm oil plantations and it would be completely silent. The people obviously have a, a big connection to the biodiversity like the people I was living with would take people into the um, take tourists into the jungle to see orangutans so it was just devastating for them to see their world getting smaller. So then the next year I went to Colombia, got interested in indigenous communities and I was really inspired by their way of life but also the Amazon is, is also being <laughs> deforested. Climate change wasn't something I'd really thought about before because in the UK like we feel it, we know about it but it's not as like you know we're not on the front line of it. I guess I had to see it firsthand to really really understand it. It kind of created like a passion inside me. I was like I want to do something about this. I want to like be able to create a positive change. So I did a foundation year. Then yeah I started my first year and I've been in love with it ever since. <laughs> I was automatically enrolled on the PLUS program because I'm a mature student. Through the PLUS program newsletter I found this opportunity um, it's called the CEO Times One Day program. Um, it's basically you have to write 3,000 words about yourself, why you should be involved. If you get through that stage then you go down to London and do kind of a interview and a debate with all the other students that got selected. And then the people who get selected get partnered with a CEO to shadow them for a day. And I was lucky enough to get through. I got um, partnered with the Secretary General of Amnesty International, Agnes Kalamad. Obviously they're an organisation that I support and I remember looking on her Wikipedia page and thinking how has she achieved all of that, like she's a superwoman. Um, and yeah, I just couldn't believe how lucky I was. But I was slightly worried about being able to afford it but remembered about the Opportunities Fund so I applied for funding for a new outfit and for accommodation in London. I wanted to feel ready for it, I wanted to feel like professional because I was so nervous. I had never really met anyone like her before and I just asked her all the questions I could think of and she to this day it's it, like what she said to me has resonated. When I'm feeling down or like I need some inspiration I think of the words that she told me. She is one of the, the biggest inspirations in my life and I'm so grateful for what I use the Opportunities Fund for. It really enriched my experience and I know for other people they've been able to go to conferences like go overseas, um, buy medical equipment if they needed it and it's just really allowing students to make the most of their student experience at Leeds. I really want to thank everyone involved in the Opportunities Fund, the PLUS programme and at Leeds um, for supporting me on my journey, allowing me to experience things that I wouldn't have necessarily been able to without it. Um, and yeah, I just feel really grateful for all of the opportunities.